just to start off, uh, my name is Peter. Um, I've owned this E46 M3, I want to say, just about a half year now. Got it in November of last year, 2019. We're in July of 2020 now. Um, a little bit about me. I've had roughly right around two decades of experience with the E46 M3. And between my first one and my second one, I think I've gone through maybe 15 cars. It just does everything so well. I mean, if you're trying to use this as a daily driver, if you're trying to use it as a weekend warrior, if you're just trying to enjoy the car on the weekends, or if you even want to go to, you know, uh, an HPDE, this car is more than capable. Put the suspension on soft. It's a great daily driver. Uh, if you want to go to take it to a track day, you can stiffen it up. It'll it'll handle the curves. It'll go on the track. You'll have fun. Not the most powerful car you can possibly take to a track, but again, it's just such a raw and visceral car. You get to enjoy all of it. The another reason is uh, the the forums, the community, the community for the E46 M3. You can find do-it-yourself tutorials on pretty much everything, everything right down to the rod bearing replacements. So. This car has been around, what, I'd say a little over two decades now. Um, the community based is just astronomical, it's huge. You have everything from E46 Fanatics. While M3 Forms is no longer around, you have North America M3 Form, which is NA M3 Form. Uh, a lot of the, the great minds and do-it-yourself guys and the knowledge behind M3 Forms actually uh, relocated to NA M3 Form after M3 Form went down. The aftermarket that's uh, available for the M3 guys, the E46 M3 guys, is just huge, huge base. You have everything where you could buy aftermarket competition package rotors, brakes, pads, all the way up to big brake kits, rod bearings from factory to modified to everything. Everything you could possibly think of. You have hundreds of choices of uh, suspension, suspension parts, components, differentials, just you name it and there's an aftermarket or an OEM replacement for the car. You can pick them up for a very, very good price. And for the price, I mean, you're getting so much car for the money. For something as, all right, uh, the, the actual, my second M3 that I actually had was an SMG, um, fairly high mileage, and a little, well, not a little, a lot of beat up. And I got the price at a phenomenal price, $7,000. Um, SMG, steel gray, needed work, but nothing I'm unfamiliar with. For $7,000, that's a lot of car for the money. I mean, for $7,000, you're getting you're getting an M3. It, it was, you can't find another car in that, in that price range that can do everything so well. While the car that you're filming today is uh, is about three times that price, uh, it really does show. So you can get anything from an SMG convertible, something that's not really that sought after for say $7,000. And I don't know if your viewers have, uh, have seen it, but Bring a Trailer have uh, has been posting um, Laguna Seca Blue E46 M3s for sale. And I think I've seen two of them go over for $50,000. That's pretty unheard of. So to say that the car has uh, appreciation value is uh, is a little bit of an understatement. My first one that I sold back in, I believe 2010, 85,000 miles, very, very sought after color combination of uh, Alpine white with uh, cinnamon interior and it was supercharged by VF engineering. I sold that car for Alpine white with uh, cinnamon interior. I sold that car for $21,000, $22,000 back in 2009-2010. Today, that car easily $30,000 car. So, the M3, the E46 M3. I want to say the E46 M3 is probably the last and will be the last 
uh, enthusiast uh, car that you can own that Joe Schmo can work on. I mean, everything from oil changes to valve adjustments to common maintenance, you don't have to do anything like crazy as in recoding the car and making sure that it works and having malfunction lights of, uh, of everything. So I've owned uh, an X5M and one of the craziest things I heard was when I did the injectors, I had to code the injectors to the car. Uh, when I did a battery, you have to code the battery to the car. When one of the active suspensions uh, went out on the car, I had to code the car after I did suspension. I mean, once I went through that, all the trial and tribulations of owning a, a new, a newer type M car, it, it just completely turned me off. Uh, I definitely just missed the E46 M3 with every other M car moving forward. So the E92 M3 was a, was a great car, uh, really enjoyed that car. It just felt different and for me it wasn't as raw as the E46 M3. So I, I, I turned ship and I went right back to, I sold that E92 M3 and I came back to an E46. And the E46 M3 is definitely something special. Um, plenty of reasons why to own this car and why I think it's just such an all-around great car. First and foremost, it's just a timeless design. I mean, the body of the car, the design, the way it looks, it just, everything from the flares to the power bulge of the hood, it just looks phenomenal, it looks great. Um, doesn't really get mixed in with like a regular three series. When you see this car, you definitely know it's an E46 M3 and it's not a regular three series. While that sounds a little pompous, it, it really does give its own uh, characteristics. The car is a great all-around car. Enjoy it on the track. Enjoy it at a weekend cars and coffee. Use it as a daily driver. It's more than capable of doing everything very well.